Well, it's still evening time, still editing the vlog, but I thought I'd show you guys this. Didn't exactly go as we planned, I guess, putting these turkeys in the garden, because look at him. He's on top of the fence. Now we have some apple bins in here that we use for raised beds. And they're jumping on the apple bins and jumping on the edge of the fence. Get down! Bad turkey! <laughs> Bad turkeys. Are you guys out of food? We might have to get them more grain. They're out. Well, we can't move those because they're full of dirt. So we're just going to have to deal with it. We just give them a little bit more grain. Hopefully they'll stay off the fence. I might have to come out here right before dark and make sure they're off it. But once it gets dark, they won't be climbing on it anyway. So, anyways. And it's only the skinny ones that can get up there. <laughs> the fatties can't make it. All right, so a mistake I made when I got these new chickens is I put zip ties around their feet so I can tell them apart and know who the older chickens are. That way at the two year mark, we can call and start over. Well. What I didn't realize is that we had gotten them too tight and as the chickens grew, the zip ties got smaller and smaller. So now we gotta go through and cut them all off and my whole plan didn't work anyways. And I actually think they make some uh, rubber ones for the same exact thing, be much better. So I highly recommend you stay away from zip ties from my lesson. So if you, we still have a few stragglers around that have these on them, uh, but not too many. All right, on that note, I'll show you the turkeys today. Didn't have any problem with them getting out last night after that one little incident of them getting up on the fence and perching, so that's good. Anyways, let's see what the garden looks like today. They have eaten the heck out of this. Look at that. One day, not even one day, what, like 12 hours in there. And it's pretty much all eaten down. Sweet. All right, now we got to get our chores done, get set up for our chicken butchering, hopefully it's our last one. Don't know if we're gonna have enough room in the freezer, depends on how many chickens we have, we have up there. From our calculations, we can probably do like 60 chickens and be okay. Any more than that, we might be in trouble. So we'll see. Well, we processed. 60 chickens took us about an hour and 15 minutes and then uh, now we're getting ready to bag them most of these chickens were on the small end four pounds upper three pounds but that's just kind of how it goes uh but yeah so we got all those done that's gonna start bagging them now i saved all the feet all the gizzards all the livers and hearts i'm gonna bag all those up and we're gonna freeze them and that's gonna be some additional protein for the dogs in the winter time when it gets really cold so we don't have to worry about cleaning them up too much which will save us a ton of time but i can vacuum seal them or bag them up ziploc baggies and put them in the freezer the other thing is we have about 40 chickens left on the hill and we have 30 turkeys left exactly we counted them yesterday but those 40 chickens we can't process yet until we have some more freezer space Somebody's coming to pick up 25 tomorrow, and I think we're getting rid of 10 on Saturday. So we should be able to finish the rest of those chickens by Sunday. That's our goal now, at least. If you've been watching us for a while, you can see how like we schedule things, but they don't always work out how we want to schedule them. But it's still best that we schedule them. That way we have some sort of routine and we're just not flying all over the place. So we knew we were gonna process chickens today. Our hope was to get them all done, but in the end, we just couldn't. Well, I just figured out what was wrong with the tractor. Uh, the brake, I don't even know what it's called. This little cylinder that controls the rear brakes, I'll show you. But it is busted in half. Let me show you here. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it real good. But it's right there. You can see how busted it is. Anyways, I found it, but the closest place is about an hour and a half away. And they won't have it till Monday. And that's a, for that little piece that controls the rear brakes. None of you are going to be surprised, but $100 for that. Pretty crazy. Listen to this guy. Betty does not want anything to do with him, but he thinks she does. 
All right, that's making pretty good progress. I think she only has maybe 15 birds left, so it's just about 3.30. Turkey, turkey, ready to eat? Just ready to eat, huh? Yeah. Let me in there. like to be cut. Let's see if this works. See if I can fill this from the outside. Looks like this should be able to. Aha! Alright, I soaked the layer feed because that feed soaked for them will go a lot further and they'll be able to get uh, eat the peas better than they were before. It actually worked pretty good yesterday when I soaked it. So we'll see what uh, egg count is today to see if the scratch helped and see if the soaking it helped all right the kids are collecting eggs elizabeth's just about done it's just after four o'clock i'm gonna go make sure these dogs have food we're also gonna give them a little treat just as a thank you for helping us out and taking care of our animals up there so let's go do that hi girls i brought you a treat i brought you a treat i brought you something let's see if i can follow going down this hill oh I brought you a treat. Look, look, here you go. Fresh chicken liver. There you go. Thank you for helping us. Thank you for taking care of the goats and protecting them. I'll get them some dog food too because it's looking like they are out. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get over this fence without unplugging it. I did it! All right, we're gonna have to move this because I think that opening is big enough for these goats to get into. My dogs. There we go. Okay. Lift it from the back. Actually, I shut the camera off, but the food's in there. Dogs are happy, they already ate their little snack. Huh, it's all gone, good girls. Good job, thank you. Nope, stay down. Good dogs, good dogs, good dogs. Good dogs, thank you. All right, so tomorrow, we have to take these chicken tractors. Uh, one over here too. And we need to uh, get the tarps off the ones we can. We still have one tractor that has chickens in it, but the rest we can take all the tarps off so we can salvage them. Move the chicken tractors underneath these trees. That way they're protected from any kind of snow. Uh, we don't want snow, too much weight piling on them because it will damage them. Especially these flat poly face ones. So we'll get them protected as much as we can, get the tarps off, get all this stuff cleaned up, all of our buckets taken down, any kind of wood we have up here, we'll pile it all in one spot. And then uh, <clears throat> hopefully by Sunday, we can get the rest of these chickens processed and by early to middle of next week, we can have uh, the goats move down into the garden. Hopefully have the turkeys done. I don't know, it sounds great. It's very ambitious, I know, but we'll see what happens. Standing here thinking about it, we're probably not gonna have these turkeys done by next week. There's no way we're gonna have enough freezer space to get all these turkeys done. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll just have to see how it goes. The goats, we can still move them around up here. There's not a lot of growth, so I don't want them on this too much longer. But, you know, you can only do so much. We kind of got to do what we got to do. And unfortunately, we're at the mercy of freezer space. All right, let's hop back over this fence and see if we can get these uh, layers fed. All right, here we go. Not turning it off, so hopefully I don't get shocked. Oh, sorry. 
And I accidentally kicked the poor pups. Good girl. Good girl. We'll see you tomorrow. Nighty night. All right, chores pretty much done. It's about 4.30. It used to take us about an hour to do chores when we had all the chickens and everything going on. I mean, we still have one batch of chickens, about 40 of them. We still have about 30 turkeys. We still have our rabbits out on grass out here. We have all of our layers. So till it takes us some time, half hour, 40 minutes, half hour in the evening, 40 to 45 minutes in the morning. Uh, but still, it's getting less and less. And at some point, it will even get down to probably 10 or 15 minutes twice a day. Not bad.